Hello everybody and welcome to Scruffy Bear Games. My name is Kev and today we're starting a new season and a new game. Football Manager 2023. We're going to be starting the Local Legend series up again. The idea of this series, of course, is to start with the the closest team to me geographically uh, in the lowest playable league in, in the English uh, pyramid, which in this case is Kettering Town. The idea as well is to sort of keep the game as realistic as possible. Obviously, the fact that I'm already in charge of a Vanarama, Vanarama National League North team is slightly unrealistic. I, I'll, I'll grant you that, but... The idea is we don't we don't use the the player search function. We don't just sort of go in knowing who all the best players are and then you know trying to sign them. We'll we'll, we'll utilize the the club recruitment staff, player recommendations, and things like that. We will also use the in game means of recruiting staff that aren't the search function as well. So for example, the putting a job post up and then waiting for the the candidates to apply. Let's say I'm doing quite well with with Kettering and uh, a football league team want to come in and hire me, then the chances are I will take the job if it's more money, you know, uh, unless the, unless it's like a situation where I'm top of the league in the you know, National League North and then a, Nas a Vanarama national team want to come in. That's not necessarily, you know, I might not necessarily jump ship just then because the, the level isn't that much different. But yeah, so Kettering Town, this episode is mainly just going to be me getting to know the team, uh, in all honesty, figuring out a tactic, figuring out starting 11, hopefully, you know, maybe even bringing in some upgrades to to the, the playing staff. And then at the end of the episode, we'll play whoever our first match is of the season. Uh, obviously, I'm not in there yet, so I can't tell. <laughs> I haven't looked at the fixtures list. Basically. Yeah, let's get cracking. So Kettering Town, higher Griffiths. Kettering will bring in their 150th season under a new manager in Kevin Griffiths. Eyebrows have been raised in the world of football. The appointment of the inexperienced 33-year-old and he is sure to face plenty of questions when he faces the media for the first time at Latimer Park. Griffiths has put pen to paper on a one-year deal worth £750 a week. He replaces previous manager Lee Glover. Griffiths lacks the rep reputation of a survival specialist, which creates an intriguing dynamic with many pundits expecting them to, be, to face a battle to avoid relegation this season. Now that doesn't bode well for me. So yeah, we got ourselves a little um little welcome pack. So yeah, media prediction, 24th. Solid, excellent start. <laughs> um yeah, club history enjoyed its best spell of success during the 1980s. And their last competition win coming as recently as 2019. That's not bad. Is it? Yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> Transfer budget zero. Wasn't expecting anything, to be honest. Um, hopefully there's a bit of wiggle room in the wage budget, maybe sign, you know, a player that we need. I've obviously got to check the squad yet, but <laughs> again, at this level, mostly going to be operating on freeze anyway, and everything will be going into the wage budget. Move along. Interesting. Very defensive setup for the best 11. That's... I'm will something I'm willing to work with. Uh, normally, I'd go a bit more attacking, but I suppose there's room to to create a, an attacking dynamic out of that. Right. So the actionable objectives work within the wage budget, which is required. Yeah, I I try to anyway. Grow the club's reputation. Not entirely sure how I go about doing that. Um, not getting relegated, I guess. Uh, attempt to avoid relegation from the National League North. Yep, okay. I would attempt that. <laughs> if I do get relegated, it's game over anyway. Or I'll get sacked anyway, so... Yep. Be he competitive in the FA Cup. Not entirely sure what that means at this level. We start in the qualifying rounds. We're not even in the FA Cup yet. Technically, I assume they'll want us to get to the first round, but... Be competitive in the FA Trophy. Cool. Probably a bit, have a bit more luck in that than I will do in the FA Cup itself. And yeah, my contract expires at the end of this season, so this is this is my audition essentially. Uh, the next four years is just don't get relegated. 
it's ambition that is so the supporters want us to avoid relegation yeah that's fair get the better of our rivals AFC Rushton and Diamonds if we happen to play against them so if we draw them in the cup we need to win essentially uh, that's fine that's all good schedule a press conference to meet the media <laughs> sure all, all, all one journalist turning up I'm sure that'll be a, an amazing press conference Intra squad friendly to assess the squad when available when possible. Yeah, I mean, can't hurt, can it? Arrange a meeting with the backroom staff. Well, we're not doing that every week. I might make it a monthly. Yeah, we'll do we'll do a monthly one. All right, let's dive in and have a look at this squad then. All right, before we look at the squad, we got a a new feature in FM twenty three, and this is the supporter profile. Gives you a breakdown of what your fans would be considered so we've got a 17% hardcore fan base which is quite a nice amount core just you know your, your fans your normal fans 41% family 20% fair weather fans so you know the ones that will only turn up when we're winning you know three or four games on the bounce corporate 0% I'm not entirely shocked by that to be honest and then your casuals 11 I guess they're the ones that sort of may buy the shirt but probably won't be turning up to many matches or whatever so yeah that's quite cool 3.4 thousand followers on social media <laughs> yeah cool right let's look at this squad then okay so you've got to create a tactic before you can pick your team okay but i want to have a look at the team before i pick my tactic so that's kind of backwards but yeah i can see now we don't really have many wingers to go. We've got, we've got a, a youth player on loan from Peterborough. It's interesting. I wouldn't necessarily call him a winger with the five crossing. Who's the highest earner? Well, we've got a few people. We've got a few people on two fifty, which is interesting because I'm on seven fifty now. If I could take a lower wage and maybe free up some money budget for some new players, that'd be great. But. Because we have got quite a small squad. Well, how many? How many have we got going on here? Nineteen people in the first team. Have we got a youth? Okay, we've got a youth team. We've got four people down. You know what? First things first. I'm just going to put all of these in the senior team, just for preseason's sake. Okay. Right. So preseason, we'll get. Oh, we've got so many strikers. Are any of them actually any good though? That's the question. And no is the resounding answer. Okay, fine. We might be able to look to shift some of those out, perhaps. Are they saying that in their, in their best 11, they had a setup with however many, was it two strikers and an attacking midfield? I didn't see any attacking midfielders there, did we? Oh, I've got a couple. Mind you, he's not natural there. What about the, who was it? Keaton Ward. Yeah, he can play there. But that's just the one. He's not to be fair, he's not bad either. Right, let's have a I'm gonna have a little little mess around with tactics and try and get like a provisional start in eleven together. Right, okay, so for now I've kind of settled on this. Got Gregory, who is our only good goalkeeper. Uh interestingly enough, our backup goalkeeper who pales in comparison to Gregory is also a goalkeeping coach. So that's, that's fun. Uh, White, Cooper, and Bakare. I mean, all all pretty solid. Say that. He's got three for strength. Don't know how I feel about that. Having a, having a centre back with an aversion to a, a, a light breeze, but yeah, sure. Uh, Cornell McConnell, McDonald on the right wing back position. Reese Sharp on the left. Stora in Stora. Stora. It's probably one of those really common names that I just haven't come across before. Uh, I like him in defensive midfield because well, I mean he's got the teamwork and the work rate that I like for teams that aren't just doing a counter attack. <laughs> yeah. We've got Ward as our ball winner. 
Uh, I mean, there's still there's room to move these two around. They're fairly similar in the roles, so see how they get on. Then we've got Salt, attacking midfielder. I've got him as an advanced playmaker. Again, this is all subject to change throughout pre-season anyway. Target man, Jordan Graham. Six foot two. Hopefully got that. Hopefully got a bit of hold up playing him. And Dakari Sheriff. As I've got him as an advanced forward. He's sort of going to be the the little to Graham's large, essentially. Yeah, we'll see how we'll see how that gets on throughout preseason. Probably end up changing it entirely, but so we've got the intra squad friendly tomorrow. See how well we do against our second string. If we lose that match against the second string, then I know that I'll, I'll know that I've made a mistake or two. And then we've got a bunch of away friendlies. And then we've got one at home just to finish off the off the preseason there. And yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna crack on with that. Okay, so that's preseason done. Uh, our first match is tomorrow against Fylde, who are nailed on favourites to win the league. And as you can see from this screen here, we are favourites to come bottom of the league. So this should be an interesting opener, <laughs> to say the least. Um, I did notice after, after I left you guys a second ago that while my intention was to use my scouts uh, to obviously help with the recruitment, I didn't actually have any scouts, so most of the preseason there was just me trying to get my, my backroom staff in order. But now that I've done that, we do actually have the best scouts in the league, so that's 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 all right. That's positive going forward. But in the meantime, we actually haven't made any transfers. We got a couple of couple of couple of bits of transfer activity going on. We got Conor O'Grady hopefully coming in, um, fairly solid centre back. Six foot two, ten strength, good jumping, good heading, good tackling. You know, there's decent all round centre back, especially for this level. However, Hemel Hempstead has just put an offer in for him as well, and I got a horrible feeling he's going to go there, but we'll see. Uh, I've also just been just been given permission to go on a coaching course, so that's nice. That'll hopefully increase some of my attributes, which I can't seem to view. Attributes, there we go. Hit the right button, Kev. Yeah, so as you can see here, the, at the start of the game, I just kind of chucked everything into fitness and motivating. Felt, felt like a good idea for the low level, you know? Um, but yeah, let's, let's get into this into this game. I haven't I haven't changed the tactic. We actually had a quite a successful pre-season. In fact, um Western Supermare the only team to that we didn't manage to beat. Can't complain really. Oh look at that there we go. Conor O'Grady is has agreed a deal join the club. So yeah 200 pounds a week which doesn't even make him a top earner which is fine. That's great. He's a regular starter. With any luck, he'll be, you know, key. He doesn't enjoy the big matches. That's fine. I mean, <laughs> I say it's fine. I think when you're a relegation candidate, almost every every game is a big game. I'm not expecting much out of this first match. Uh, Fylde are, are obviously a quality side for this level. I think I don't. I don't think I could have been given a more unfortunate opener for the season. But hey, at least we get them out of the way, right? I guess. Right. Hold on, I just do my team selection. Right, so for the opener, very much unchanged from that first first eleven that we uh that we looked at. So Gregory and goal, back three, White, Bakari, Cooper, and then in the on the defensive midfield line, Sharp, Stoa, Ward, McDonald, and then a front three, essentially, of Salt, Graham and Sheriff. Uh, Sheriff actually had a really good pre-season as well, so that's, that's promising. One thing I did want to change was this whole get stuck in instruction. 
Um, historically not been great with the old discipline front. Um, so I'm going to take it off for now. If players are getting past us too easily or we're standing off too much and getting played around, then maybe stick it back on. But for now, I'm more comfortable leaving it off. Conor O'Grady isn't going straight into the team. Put him on the bench, but obviously he only signed, what, today? <laughs> that was a bit too soon. Barely even. I don't think he's even met the rest of the team yet, you know? Right, now this is where we find out if those points I put in motivation were worthwhile. Everyone expects us to lose here, so prove them wrong. There's no pressure on us. Nobody cared. Okay, cool. I'm going to have to have a mess around with my uh, with my camera settings, so bear with me on that one. Okay, so, fold kicking off. Let's go. Interested to see how well this counter-attacking works against a team that is much, much better than us. Obviously, the Graham with some fantastic ball control there. Um, obviously, the pre-season, we were playing teams in the division for life. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's ultimately pointless, isn't it? I mean, the, you win the games, but it doesn't mean anything, really. It's all about fitness at, at that point. So, yeah, this should be... I mean, <laughs> let's put it this way. If I get a point out of this game, I'm going to be very, very happy. Oh, we've hit the post. Oh, 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 oh no. No, don't don't do this to me. Don't give me hope. <laughs> I mean, if I would have had seven shots, none on target. We've had two, none on target. So I don't know if that's just an ind indicator of the level or... Oh, I mean, a couple, a couple of shots on target came in towards the end there. I mean, they're definitely all over us. Look at that XG chart. Well, they're saying that. They've only got 0 0.85. <clears throat> I mean, I'm going to tell them that they're doing well. Because while the, the ratings aren't particularly high, I can't complain about the scoreline. Two yellow cards already. Of course, that's a bit... Three yellow cards, right. That instruction... That out of possession instruction. I'm just going to do stay on feet. I don't trust them to not get sent off at this point. It might already be too late. So oh, I'll hit the post again. Salt with a pretty decent strike, actually. Right, they've made a they made a bunch of a bunch of subs. I should probably do the same. Let's have a little look at what we got on the bench. Who did I bring along? We've got Conor O'Grady. I'm going to bring him on. I know he's only just joined, but I'm sure, he, I'm sure he's capable. Now, we've got this Hemi Augustian who on paper looks like he might be quite good, but he is 35. I'm going to give him, I'm going to give him a run out. Who's doing better out of these two? See, he's motivated, but only playing okay. He's calm, but having a good game. They're both on a yellow. <sighs> Hang on, let's have a... What's his tack been saying? Six. Let's bring him on for star. And take Sheriff off for uh, Leithwaite. See how that goes. Oh, he's salt. Oh, he's played Sheriff in. Is he onside? No. Miles off. All right. Hi. That was close. It's the closest I've seen them come anyway, well, apart from that time they hit the post, clearly, but... Oh, do you need to be careful there, mate? I don't want you to be getting sent off. Oh, they played him in. Oh, he's at the post again. Now, they... <laughs> they definitely got away with one there. Look at that. Wow.
Oh, shop with the uh, the channel. Oh, salt's, salt's in. Oh. 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 Can't believe it. So unlucky. Well, no, not unlucky. It was, just, it was poor. It was bad, but, you know. No, no, 85th minute. Now, at what point do I just go completely defensive? Acting like I haven't been defensive all game already, but... We've actually played this entire game in balanced. <laughs> that was, that was nerve wracking. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go defensive. And just hope for the best. I know I shouldn't. Like that, I don't know. I don't know that that's ever actually worked for me. So, <laughs> against my better judgment, I've gone defensive for the last few minutes of the game. We've actually come away with a point against the team that are favourites to win the league. Wow. Okay. That right there, I mean, despite really not doing much at all, that's 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 a big result. Right. After he's uh, come on as a sub, I'm going to ask the captain to welcome him to the club. It was 0-0. It was a poor draw. I know that, but... Be that as it may, I will take that. I will take that and run with it. So, well, well. Not the horrendous start I was expecting. Didn't really see much of us going forward, but that will come uh, home games against the, you know, the bottom, bottom half of the table teams. We'll, we'll sort of be able to test out our, our attacking... I'm not going to call it... Skill. <laughs> no. We're, we'll be able to uh, see how much of an attacking force we are against the uh, bottom half of the table teams, you know, the, the weaker sides, especially when we're playing at home. I might even come up with a second tactic for home games. I'm thinking this counter-attacking are pretty... Well, it's proven to be quite effective uh, with regards to the defensive side of things anyway. So that's certainly something to think about. Um, yeah, what, what, what games have we got coming up? Yeah, we've got mm, probably go away, play a couple of these games here, and then come back maybe for the uh, Boston Boston United away. I think they're another team that are expected to do quite well, aren't they? Yeah, sixth. Not bad. Not bad. I don't know. I'll have, I'll have two. I'll have two games lined up for the next episode anyway. I am happy with that. I'm happy with that. I don't often find myself happy with a nil-nil draw, but in this in this instance, I'm going to take it. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Give us a, a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.